have something to say to you. That didn't go well. Question number two, Kiritapu Allen. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance. What responses has he seen to Budget 2018? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, Budget 2018 has been received positively by institutions ranging from large banks to the UK Guardian newspaper. Economists at the ANZ said Budget 2018 was a pragmatic balance between aspirational goals and fiscal prudence. Those at the ASB said the new Labour New Zealand First Government has effectively passed its first fiscal credibility test. The budget and healthy forecasts show that the Government is on target to achieve its fiscal targets. And BNZ economists stated the fiscal numbers look good, with a string of reasonable surpluses causing the net debt to GDP ratio to slowly decline below 20 per cent. This leaves headroom for extra spending in future budgets as long as the economy stays strong. There is nothing jumping out suggesting that announcements in the budget will provide any impediment to the good growth outlook we have. Supplementary, sir. Uh, what responses has he seen in major financial markets? Well, Mr Speaker, the ASB reports that the overall market reaction was very muted, indicating financial market markets are quite comfortable with the fiscal numbers. Matthew Sacosta, sovereign analyst from Moody's Investment Services, said that the budget projections of continued fiscal surpluses and a gradual reduction in debt highlights the government's ongoing commitment to preserving strong public finances. He also said sustained commitment to fiscal prudence provides the government room to buffer the economy from any potential future shocks which could stem from another natural disaster or a sharp fall in global trade. Supplementary. What responses on Budget 18 has he seen on increases to public sector funding? Oh, Mr Speaker, I see on Budget Day that this was a foundational budget and the first of three for this term. Social service providers and advocates understandably want to make up for years of underfunding but have seen this budget as a good start. For example, Trevor McGlinchey, Executive Officer of the New Zealand Council of Christian Social Services, says more needs to be done but noted in the social service, I'll tell him you said that, Judith. I'll pass it on. In the social services sector, we see a much-needed boost order. in funding for community-based family violence services, which is fantastic news for this sector. The increasing funding going to community-based transitional housing and housing first initiatives is what is needed to support those who are homeless to be homed. Lyndon Keane, Director of Policy and Research at ASMS, said the government's health budget revealed today offers some relief to the cash-strapped public health system, but clearly more will be required to fix years of under-resourcing. Uh, Mr Goldsmith will stand, withdraw and apologise. I withdraw and apologise. Question number three, the Honourable Amy Adams. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Finance, does he stand by his statement?